Most of the interaction with the world is through our vision. My field of research involves studying visual processing and how people see. When I began to study this field, I was struck by the observation that there are more than 250 different genes when mutated would cause inherited retinal degeneration. The genes that are programming those people to go blind actually are present from before birth. But what's amazing is that those people actually have useful vision and can see for 25, 30, sometimes 60 years before they start losing their sight. I actually thought this was an important research question. Can we identify how that works? Can we see how people survive with useful vision for many decades? And could we use that and exploit that to develop new therapies to prevent people from going blind? The Center for Vision Research has allowed us to develop a gene therapy center where they actually produce gene therapy vectors. And those vectors have been used in some important clinical trials uh, to treat blindness. We have identified important growth factors that regulate that. One of them is called a protein called leukemia inhibitory factor. The name is misleading. It actually is a pro-survival factor that keeps cells alive longer. We've identified this receptor and signal transduction pathway, and we know that this pathway, when activated, will allow photoreceptors to survive. The importance of that is now we have a target, and we've been developing new gene therapies based on that target so that we can activate that pathway in vivo. We've also been studying that pathway for drug discovery. We've been collaborating with people in the UF College of Pharmacy to develop a high-throughput drug screen to identify small molecules that could activate that pathway and could promote useful vision for much longer. I'm John Ash, and I'm part of the research landscape at the University of Florida.